Hello YouTube. I'm gonna be showing you something on my laptop I've got. And as you see I'm going to be go booting up Windows XP on the Toshiba Satellite L505D S5965. This is how I got XP in to work on here. First of all, I put it in a, I have to go into the BIOS and set the compatibility mode to like the compatibility from A, from ACHI, something like that. I had to change the compatibility in the BIOS and put it in, put XP on a little, fit like a 60 gig partition. And as you see, it's booting up. And I'm using Windows XP on this laptop with 4 gigs of RAM. Since I'm dual booting Windows 7 and Windows XP on this little 500 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive. That's what I replaced the hard drive in this computer with. Wait a minute. Hold up. Oops. Gotta put the camera down. And as you see... We're going to go ahead and log on, and I have the classic login. And it's booting up. Sorry for that. It took fun, it finally came up. It doesn't really supposed to take that long, as you see. Yeah, I'm going to trim up some of this video to make it be in shape. And as you see here, I got all my programs installed. I got Internet Explorer 8, and I got Windows Media Player 9. And I got Logic, Logic's Disk to Frag, C Cleaner, and for sure my browser Mozilla Firefox. I even got Office 2010 on this. Yeah, and it's wanting to install updates. <laughs> I don't know why it wants to do that. Yeah, so we got to take a tour. Yeah, I put a, a good bit of programs, as you see, for... CD burning in for a recorder. I got Camtasia Studio, WinZip, Virtual PC 2007, Team Viewer, Google Chrome, the Windows Live Essentials. Yeah, I had um put a Windows XP partition for compatibility. And that's my um, antivirus. So like in case of something I need to use in XP has to be done in 32-bit, I could use it. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you the, how much RAM it's using. Hold on, if I could get to it. And there's my own Windows 7 partition. And I'm going to be doing a video for XP mode. And it's using 3.50 gigabytes of RAM, as you see. And it actually has 4 gigs of RAM. Because this is a 32-bit operating system, it'll only go up to 3.5 gigs of RAM. And it's clocked at a 2.10 gigahertz processor which is an AMD Athlon X2 dual core so that's to let you know I got Windows XP running on my Toshiba the show oh, just showing you how it runs so I'll see you guys later